So what does it mean to you as a shareholder when a CEO makes a sudden departure? Eric Gordon joins us, a professor at the University of Michigan's Ross School of Business, to talk more about this. Good to see you again, Eric. Hello, Sue. Let's start, first of all, with what an investor should, what questions should an investor be asking about this situation when a CEO departs? What should they be thinking about? So the first thing they should ask is, who is going to be the new CEO? Now, with McDonald's, we know they announced it right away, um, but you want to you wanna find out who that is. If there's an interim, you're going to be even more worried as an investor. Once you know who the CEO is, you want to find out, is the CEO going to make big changes, is going to stay the course? How do you think about them? Because sort of the fate goes with the new CEO. So uh, that's the first thing I would ask. You know, it, it just seems lately there have been a, a, a whole slew of CEOs who have left their companies rather abruptly. Uh, what do you think is going on here? You know, I think it's a tough time. The, the demands for performance on the job are high. And on top of that, the demands for your personal conduct are higher. Right. You know, we've shifted from, uh, I, I think, a, a long era of wink, wink, nod, nod, well, it's personal, it's, it doesn't affect the company, to you know, pulling out the microscope and saying, it does affect the company. The reputation is very important to investors, it's very important to customers. And I think there are a lot of uh, CEOs who've been you know, in whatever business they're in for a long time who haven't caught on. Mm -hmm. Does it matter if it's a quote unquote superstar CEO or one that has just been exacting change, perhaps in a more quiet way? Do the same parameters that you suggested apply? You know, uh, you hope they would, but you often wonder if the uh, superstars, just like superstars in the NFL, get a different deal. Although we've seen a couple of them, uh, you know, have, have uh, even the superstars have, have fallen. Easterbrook was very well respected. He did a very good job there. And I think the message from uh, McDonald's is even if you are a superstar, even if investors like you, you've got to act right. Do we spend too much time on CEOs anyway, Eric? I mean, I, I don't want to uh, uh, minimize their contribution. It certainly can be great in many cases. But, you know, the CEOs of Intel and, and some other big technology giants have been changing hands. Now we've got Easterbrook and McDonald's, the uh, largest uh, uh, fast food chain in the land. Are we spending too much time on their contribution, do you think? Yeah, sometimes I think so. I mean, there are thousands of people who have to do the right things. There's usually a lot of executives near the top. The idea of the CEO as the hero, of course, this partly justifies their pay, but this idea that they're the hero and boy, if they leave, we're in real trouble, is I think, you know, about two thirds myth. On that note, Eric Gordon with the University of Michigan's Ross School of Business. Thanks, Eric. My pleasure, Sue.